previously on Hogan Racing. We're going to Formula Drift Japan, you guys. We got the whole front end cut off. Oh. Jim and I are both stoked on that. All right, welcome guys to episode three of the ridiculous Nissan Skyline R32 build series. We did a little quick recap before I started this, but we are building this for Formula Drift Japan next year. Front ends really came together. It's already been caged, all that. Now, we finally got our rear subframe in so we can start banging away on the rear end. That's what she said. Most of the fab work's gonna be done after that, so then we can start doing paint, wiring, plumbing, all that good stuff. And then we'll kind of move on from there. But finally, we can get that NOS bottle, radiator, fuel saw mounted, all that good stuff. So getting parts has been quite the pain in the <laughs> for this car. You're on any kind of timeline, then suddenly it seems impossible to get parts. Along the way, we've gotten some really kind of good little blessings. So check this out. So Jamie and I were both very concerned, let's say, about if we would need to cut anything here to fit the diff. They're all cut like that. For whatever reason, we got pretty lucky here. Basically, it fits up in there. So the diff doesn't actually go above that. That's kind of like the upper cage that it all bolts into. And that should just pop out the back. So that saves a tremendous amount of work, which is really good. What's the next step? Now that we got the subframe, why you... We're having RTS send us a mock-up diff so that I have something to throw in there and basically build off of from the back. So before I really get into building a cage section out back here, I wanna know how far out the diff is gonna stick how much room I'm gonna have to mess around with for battery, water pump, all that good stuff. More or less, that's kind of the next step. So what's cool is like that's that's where this thing's really gonna start coming together in the rear end is rear end box, get like radiator, fuel cell, NOS bottle all planted, then we can get water pump set in, battery, the AccuSump, then we can start building off to like strengthen these up, like everything. So it's gonna come together real fast. So let's dive into this thing. So we got the subframe in and we could see kind of where the diff was gonna go. It was time to go ham on this thing. And let me tell you, Jeremy went absolutely ham. Check this out. So we got the whole like rear structure in, radiator mounts, this is the, this is the lower radiator mounts, upper radiator mount. This was actually a radiator like mount setup that was built for the CNR radiator. It's really for like trophy trucks and buggies, but I actually really like it. These pieces are fairly complicated and they're, they're really nice. And so I was like, let's see if we can find something that we can use. And I really like it. I think it came out really, really nice. And then fuel cell, as we are saying, it's in its final resting spot now. So it's kind of shifted to the opposite side of the driver. Then we got the nitrous bottle. Nice. Nos bottle. Say it like you mean it. Nos bottle. Nos. Nos. I've, I've wanted Nos forever. <laughs> it's so cool. Fuel cell, Nos bottle, radiator, the whole rear structure. It's really coming together. Also, water pump. Somewhere in this kind of region. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be like right here. Okay, okay. And there's really not room for the battery, but. It's actually kind of, it's gonna work out really nice. So we already have a battery box for this thing, so we're just gonna put the battery in a battery box right in this corner. I'll keep everything protected and super clean up in there. Also shift some weight to that side. But yeah, I'm freaking stoked. So tomorrow actually, um, well, it'll be in this video, but we're gonna get a mock-up diff in. Our diff's still like a month out, just parts are crazy right now. So we're gonna get a mock-up diff, then we can finalize the position of the transmission measure for drive shaft and axles, which is something I've been stressing out a lot because those take a little while to get. And then that's like, everything is like on order um, or here in our hands. Yeah, we'll check that out tomorrow. The next day. So this is the centerpiece for the firewall. It's gonna be a three-piece firewall to go around the, uh, the rear roll bar tubes. Basically in front of the fuel cell there. Yep. Since everything's kind of 
mounted back here, the major stuff. The next thing is getting the firewall up. So Jamal put the rear window on because we're actually gonna follow like the curvature, the factory curvature of the rear window. From where it's gonna sit, right in this beautiful lip that was provided by Nissan Factory. It's gonna sit right in there and get tacked. So I need to measure from here to here to figure out where I need to notch this piece so it'll fit right in there. And then once that's in, I have to figure out the curvature <laughs> of the top. <laughs> which is gonna suck. All right, we got the transmission in. With that, I had to make a custom uh, transmission mount. I am utilizing our factory um, mounting location and just kind of built this thing around it. It's solid, it'll hold, I like it. We are able to measure for drive shaft too because we got the, got a mock-up winner's end. Angle is perfect on it. So as I was saying, we got transmission in and then we got a mock-up diff so we could measure the axles as well as the drive shaft and then kind of see what clearance we have here so if you guys didn't know race tech services the guys where we get these transmission and diffs from they actually have mock-up transmission and diffs which is really unique or i don't know of any other companies that supply that get your measurements done and then send it back to them which is super cool so we were like really surprised with how this thing really just sat in here it's just you're kind of like banking on how the body is built and that like floor pan but it worked out really well pretty stoked on that all right let's dive into the, everything going on up there because it's crazy this thing's really coming together i mean all that's left really fab wise is just kind of small little things but the major stuff is all there got like the whole rear structure so this kind of becomes like our new frame essentially and we'll build a bash bar off of that for the bumper as well as like supports for the tail lights, stuff like that. This basically keeps all this stuff safe. So we have fuel cell, nitrous bottle, NOX! See it? The AccuSump, the water pump as well. So that's water pump for the radiator. But yeah, this thing is like, Jim, I got the firewall started. There is a couple of things that still need to be mounted. Uh, we've got our surge tank for the radiator. Uh, we're thinking that's gonna go somewhere in this general area here, as well as the fuel tank fill, which is gonna go somewhere in this general area, I think. We'll have to see if we can make it all work, um, but that's gotta run all the way over here without, you know, puddling up in the hose, so. This piece. Slider right through here. Like that. It holds the front side in. I mean, we could literally, like, Man. we could actually probably switch out radiators in a five minute. Like, not that, there's no reason you'd ever do that, but how sick is that? Like, it's in. Yeah, super clean, super sick. So yeah, I mean, I think that's, I'm gonna wrap this episode on that. Rear end's obviously really coming together. Firewall's coming together. Probably have kind of one more fab episode and then start moving into all of the other stuff. So if you guys want to support Hagen Racing more, HagenRacing.com has all our merch. Appreciate all the love you guys. We'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace. Yo, you guys, <laughs> Jamie and I were just talking. What do you guys think about that as our button for NOS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we get the eject button. Comment below button ideas for NOS. Should put it on the passenger side and then during ride alongs I can just like reach over and slap it and they're like, what did you just do? <laughs>